Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. I have with me today a guest, my friend Justin. He is at Addiction Master on Twitter. Say hello. Girl power. There you go. We're going to be talking about Wonder Woman 1984, the trailer. So we're going to get the trailer ready. You've seen the it come online. That's out today? Yeah, it just came out today. Good. All right. So we'll get that going. It's funny. Someone on Twitter asked about it. They were like, when are you going to put out the trailer? I just decided to Google. I was like, oh, shit, it's out. <laughs> All right. Here we go. My life. I liked it right away. The first time. This will be my second time only. I'm not sure who they're going to make that chick. Yeah. But I think they're going to make a cheetah. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Is that the DC character? Cheetah? Is that it? Yes. Great use of this music subtly without the vocals. Yeah. Really cool. Because it says 80s. It feels yeah. like the 80s. A mall. The 80s. This is a Stranger Things. Yeah, I can't figure out who that guy is. Mm -hmm. I know his face. Awesome, because you don't see that enough. Oh, that was great. Throw the tiara. Tiara. See the watch? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a callback to the... And now the new watch? Right. Yeah. yeah, how does he get back? I'm thinking God intervention. I think I want to return. Is that like, um, DiCaprio's like younger, ugly brother, man? <laughs> Did he play Connor in the last Genesis? Was that the guy? He played the Terminator's junk? That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That's scene. awesome. You know that what's going on. Is that the Invisible Jet? Yes, I think they're ah, hinting at it. The fuck's going to put it in there? Awesome. Excellent. You know what you need to do. Sounds like he said that in the other movie, too. Look at how fast they're making her run. Awesome. Nothing good is born from lies. And greatness is not what you think. See, I don't know. Someone tells me it's it might be his son, nephew, clone or something. But I think he got to, like you said, travel through time. Oh, man. man. Fucking wings. That's from Kingdom Come, I think. Sweet fanny pack. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. And members only Excellent jacket. Excellent joke. All right, well, there you go. I think... I'm fucking amped for this. I am super hyped. I love it. However, I want to discuss... A quick thing that um, I shared the trailer you put on Facebook. And I had a cousin right away said something like, I'm confused. Are you con as confused as I am or something like that? Mm -hmm. I can easily see that. Because if you think about it, it's a sequel to Wonder Woman. Because which takes place in World War, one of the World Wars, right? One or two. I think it's one. Okay. So this is 1984. But it's a prequel to the Batman vs. Superman appearance. And a prequel to the Justice League. Right. Right, right, yeah. So that's a weird method to use. Yeah. I think it's going to work. But if someone like my cousin says, am I confused? Because I think you're supposed to be confused about Steve Trevor. Obviously, in the trailer, they want you to be confused. How is he back? How is he Right. Back? And they're not giving it away yet. Yeah. And the, Is he immortal? See, okay. He looks the same, right? So mm -hmm. they didn't age him. So I don't think they're going to do a, he ejected, right? It blew up, and he just waited all these years, right? Can't do that. So they're going to have to do a God intervention, or he blows a hole in the space-time continuum. <laughs> or he's frozen like Captain America. Oh, shit. No way. <laughs> oh, my God. They can't do that. Because he might even be a captain, Steve Trevor. I don't even know. He's, his name is Steve. 
Steve Rogers, Steve Trevor. His real name is Chris. Chris Pine. Chris Evans. All right. I think he's frozen. So I don't know. That's an interesting point. So you've got the premise already a little bit muddy because, like I said, it's a sequel to Wonder Woman, but a prequel to her appearances in the DCU. Right. And they did make mention of certain things in the uh, DCU. For instance, they say something about aliens, and she says, oh, I fought them before. Right. right? So they've made illusions that she has been on uh, Earth, not Demis, well, Demoscara, but, you know, yeah. America, but she's been low-key. Yes. And now she decided to come out, and that was Batman vs. Superman, blah, 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 blah. Steve Trevor is meant to be confusing, but it is a little weird that it's a sequel, prequel concept. Yeah. But I think it's going to be great. So, by the way, me personally, For I me? think the first one, the one was great. I loved it. I loved it, yeah. So, you agree? It's the best one. It's the best DC movie. Best DC. Yes, absolutely. Next, Next is... A tie between Aquaman and Shazam. I'm going to give Shazam the nod. I do like Aquaman a lot. I'm going to say Shazam pulled it off a little bit better. But that's just... Felt more like a comic book. Probably a nitpick. Yeah, Shazam was awesome. They're both great. Yeah, I I, like them. I would probably watch Shazam more, though. I have to admit. Yeah, I don't think the humor landed as well in... um, Aquaman. Permission to come aboard. <laughs> However, when he got serious at the end and had the outfit, yeah. it was fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. So you could you could explain it as he had character growth. Yeah. He was a asshole drinking guy and decided to take things seriously, blah, blah, blah. And I really liked the storyline. I thought it was all right. I, I, I liked it a lot. And I'm so happy to see since Shazam, Aquaman, and now this. DC is going for full color uniforms, full color fucking yes, costumes. They don't. Stop well, hopefully, they're learning around. But then they got this fucking Twilight Star gonna be Batman. Batman's always gonna be dark, but it, it was too much trying to be realistic. Just Here's fucking, another thing. Put it. Put him in that fucking suit with the leather cape, like we saw in that that short we watched. Yeah, what is that called? I forgot. Uh, it's the one where he fights the Joker, but he's fighting predators and aliens. Yeah. It has a name for it, but I forget it. It's been out for so long. We'll have to do a review but I that. Ag- I think that Ben Affleck did a great job as Batman. And I think they had great chemistry. When he starts messing with Diana and they yeah. start... I don't know if this new Twilight guy is going to be able to pull that off. Or they're going to keep Steve alive. Well, this new Twilight guy already said that Batman isn't a superhero. He's never been one. Well, man, you know, whatever. Yeah, he's not super, but he fucks superheroes up. Yeah, but that's because he's, you know, you know, comics have done the plot shit. So you're gonna definitely want to see this. Yeah, got me super excited. Good choice of music and an excellent choice not to play the the lyrics, like the actual uh, the yeah. singing of it. That's yeah, awesome because they just did the I forgot to shut the thing off. I always keep everything quiet. I mute everything. So, oh, your phone just went off. Yeah, you heard the, the chime, <laughs> bro. We've been doing this for like two weeks, and you're not you're not ready yet. Yeah, <laughs> still got your phone on. <laughs> Failure. Wait till I put out that fucking Witcher trailer <laughs> that we did that turned into a blooper fucking reel. I think I was on my fourth beer by then. No, you are my beer. Yeah. Your fourth beer. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he drank his own 320s, right? Was it, what are they, 20, 24? Something like that. 22 or 24. Right, like that. So, so 22, we'll go right in the middle. Right? Yeah. The cause, big, long, tall ones. And then you were drinking Banquet. the Pabst beer I had. So there we are. The trailer reaction, The Wonder Woman, 1984. I loved it. Gonna get hyped. Can't wait. I cannot wait. Me neither. It's the first DC movie in a long time that I'm fucking amped about. I gotta admit, I was amped for the Shazam. Yeah. And Aquaman. You know what, though? When we first watched the Shazam, we were like, we saw pictures of him, we were like, he looks goofy as fuck. Hold on, the pictures, we fucking were nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super nervous. nervous. Yeah. Well, when the trailers came out, it was like, okay, this looks good. I still think they went the wrong way with the puffy suit, Mm -hmm. but it worked for him in that sense. 
Totally. So did. DC has a pretty good track record right now. I'm I'm, I'm okay. I'm I'm with them. Make great movies. I don't give a shit. Yeah. And I don't know what's coming next for them, but after this, their past few have made up for some some things that I didn't enjoy. Some things that actually pissed me off too, because Batman vs Superman has such a great scene in it. Yeah, it's just muddy fucking mess. Yeah, and what was it in Justice League? His mustache. Right away, I was like, "What's going on?" Yeah, with his lip? everybody called it out. As soon as why is his upper seconds. lip look so weird? <laughs> oh my god! All right, well, maybe we'll do more trailer reactions if more come out. Everybody knows what to do. I am Addiction Master on Twitter, Joseph F. Olsis. Drunken Monk. And that is the Drunk in Monk on Twitter. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you again next. Till next time.